Lucas, Luke 11. And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his Talmudim said unto him, Adonai, teach us to pray, as Yehuchanan also taught his Talmudim. And he said unto them, When ye pray, say, Our Father who established Yahshua in the heavens, Exalted is your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, in earth as in the heavens. Give us day by day our daily bread, rather, our daily eth bread, and forgive us our transgressions. For we also forgive everyone that has transgressed against us. And lead us not into the evil inclination, but deliver us from the outer darkness. And he said unto them, Which of you shall have a friend, and shall go unto him at midnight, and say unto him, Friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine in his journey is come to me, and I have nothing to set before him. And he from within shall answer and say, Trouble me not, the door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give you. I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him, because he is his friend, yet because of his importunity he will rise and give him as many as he needs. And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asks receives, and he that seeks finds, and to him that knocks it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Ruach HaKadosh to them that ask him? And he was, ca rather, and he was casting out a devil, and it was dumb, and it came to pass, when the devil was gone out, the dumb spoke, and the people wondered. But some of them said, he casts out devils through Baalzebub, the chief of the devils. And others, tempting him, sought of him a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falls. If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? because ye say that I cast out devils through Baal Zebub. And if I by Baal Zebub cast out devils, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore shall they be your judges. But if I with the finger of Yah cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of Yahuwah is come upon you. When a strong man armed keeps his palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he takes from him all his armor, wherein he trusted and divides his spoils. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathers, gathers not with me scatters. When the unclean ruach is gone out of a man, he walks through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. He says, I will return unto my house whence I came out. And when he comes, he finds it swept and garnished. Then goes he and takes to him seven other ruachoth, more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. And it came to pass, as he spoke these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice 
and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bore you, and the breasts which you have sucked. But he said, Yea, rather blessed are they that hear at the word of Yahuwah, and guard it. And when the people were gathered thick together, he began to say, This is an evil nation. They seek a sign, and there shall no sign be given it, but the sign of Yonah the prophet. For as Yonah was a sign unto the inhabitants of Nineveh, so shall also the son of Adam be to this nation. The queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with the men of this nation and condemn them. For she came forth from the utmost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Shalomah. And behold, a greater than Shalomah is here. The men of Nineveh shall rise up in the judgment with this nation and shall condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Yonah. And behold, a greater than Yonah is here. No man, when he has lifted, rather lighted a candle, puts it in a secret place, neither under a bushel, but on a menorah, that they which come in may see the light. The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when your eye is single, your whole body also is full of light. But when your eye is evil, your body also is full of darkness. Take heed, therefore, that the light which is in you be not darkness. If your whole body, therefore, be full of light, having no part dark, the whole shall be full of light, as when the bright shining of a candle gives you light. And as he spoke, a certain Padashi besought him to dine with him, and he went in and sat down to meet. And when the Padashi saw it, he marveled that he had not first washed before dinner. And Adonai said unto him, Now do ye Padashim make, make rather make clean the house, rather make clean the outside of the cup and the platter. But your inward part is full of ravening and wickedness. Ye fools, did not he that made that which is without make that which is within also? But rather give alms of such things as ye have, and behold, that all things are clean unto you. But woe unto you, Padashim, for ye tithe mint and rue and all manner of herbs, and pass over judgment and the love of Yahweh. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Woe unto you, Parashim, for ye love the uppermost seats in the synagogues and greetings in the markets. Woe unto you, scribes and Parashim, hypocrites, for ye are as graves which appear not and the men that walk over them are not aware of them. Then answered one of the lawyers and said unto him, Rabbi, thus saying you reproach us also. And he said, Woe unto you also, ye lawyers, for ye laid men with burdens grievous to be borne, and ye yourselves touch not the burdens with one of your fingers. Woe unto you, for ye build the sepulchres of the prophets, and your fathers killed them. Truly ye bear witness that ye allow the deeds of your fathers, for they indeed killed them, and ye build their sepulchres. Therefore also said the wisdom of Yahuwah, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they shall slay and persecute, that the blood of all the prophets which was shed from the foundation of the world, may be required of this nation, from the blood of Havel, rather Havel, unto the blood of Zachariahu, which perished between the altar and the temple. Truly I say unto you, 
it shall be required of this nation. Woe unto you, lawyers, for ye have taken away the key of knowledge. Ye entered not in yourselves, and them that were entering in ye hindered. And as he said these things unto them, the scribes and the parashim began to urge him vehemently, and to provoke him to speak of many things, laying wait for him, and seeking to catch something out of his mouth, that they might accuse him 